A study was done on proctored and non-proctored tests. The results are shown in the table. Assume that the two samples are independent, simple random samples selected from normally distributed populations and do not assume that the population standard deviations are equal. Use a 0.05 significance level. We are to test the claim that students taking non-proctored tests get a higher mean score than those taking proctored tests. We are hypothesizing that we have a normally distributed sampling distribution and that the difference between the two population means is zero. We are testing whether the students taking non-proctored tests get a higher mean score than those taking proctored tests. The non-proctored group is group two. So if this value is larger than the mean for group one, that difference would be negative. If it's zero in the middle, then it would be negative to the left. So our critical value would be placed to the left of the mean for the distribution. So alpha, which we are told is to be 0.05, would be placed entirely in the left tail of this distribution. The null hypothesis always contains zero. So in this case, the null hypothesis would be mu1 minus mu2 equal to zero. If the mean for group two is larger than the mean for group one, then we would have a negative difference. So our alternative hypothesis would be mu1 minus mu2 less than zero. We can use StatCrunch to find the test value and the p-value for this hypothesis test. So we'll press stat, tstats, two sample with summary. For group one, the sample mean was 74.82. The sample standard deviation was 11.93. The sample size was 33. For group two, the sample mean was 84.92. The sample standard deviation was 22.67. The sample size was 35. We are testing if there is a difference, so our null hypothesis will be equal to zero. This is a one-tailed test to the left, so the alternative hypothesis will say less than. The problem told us not to assume that the population standard deviations are equal, so we should leave the pool variances box unchecked. Now click compute. We find a t statistic of minus 2.32 and a p value of 0.0122. So the test value is minus 2.32 and the p value is 0.012. Since the p value is less than alpha, we should reject the null hypothesis. So our conclusion would be sufficient evidence was gathered at the 0.05 level of significance to conclude that the mean score for students taking non-proctored tests is higher than that of students taking proctored tests.